So I found myself a solid state drive on Wish.com. Um, we have the option for two terabytes black and we have style one and style two. Well, style two is clearly one terabyte, as you can see right here. Um, very clearly click style two and style two looks like a regular drive. Um, it looks, doesn't have any markings on it. That's always great. Really great. Um, comparable data transfer is five, 450 megs. So like, I'm, I'm really interested to see what this looks like. What do they have here? 850 Evo. Ha! <laughs> They basically just took the same marketing from Samsung and just decided they were going to put on there. High quality. Um, I uh, would be hard pressed to believe this. Customer reviews. One review, of course. We don't trust the one review. Um, package list. 1x solid state drive. SATA 3. Capacity is optional. Um, you got all the different colors, read write speeds. Um, you got an operating temperature. I wonder what happens if you put it in the oven. Um, High quality slim design, a SATA interface, 2.5 inch design, SATA 3.0. Um, test structure is based on terminal internal testing. The real performance will be fluctuated by the difference in capacity, mainframe device, and operating system and equivalent. Okay, sure. So we've gone through. We have this is the SSD. Let's see what happens if well you can see how bad they've done like a job like blurring this out. Like they've looks like they just took the the like uh push tool and they've just like blurred it out because it's clearly said that it was the Samsung it, they literally just copied the same stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna go through and buy this. Let's see what shows up in the mail. So this is the I believe should be a two terabyte dial hard drive. Solid state drive. 2.5 inch, one terabyte, two, one terabyte, I don't know, a one terabyte drive. Oh yeah, this looks superb. Doesn't even have a brand name anywhere on here. Okay, so our solid state drive. Now, a couple things I just like to point out about this is that it's unbranded. Now, normally, I don't have that much of an issue. Um, but this is, the things that it includes on the back, simply is, made in China, solid state drive, one terabyte. I will be pleasantly surprised if this is above 32 gigs. Um, I think the first thing I wanna do is plug it into my computer um and see what size it is so in order to do that i'm gonna grab a usb connector and get my laptop set up let's take a look at this pc so we have our new volume our local disk let's see our properties here so we've got the gigabytes supposedly that says let's see what we got here let's see what we got so we got a couple, let's see, um, shrink volume, oh, it may be corrupted. Let's see what happens. So obviously this does not have the, well, this clearly does not have the size that it's supposed to. So let's see, what is the largest file in my downloads? Uh, DaVinci Resolve. Let's uh, put that in there. So first things first, the speed is, uh, how do I want to say? Let's do Control C, Control V. Uh, speed is surprisingly kind of decent. Uh, it goes anywhere up from 800 to uh yeah you're looking at roughly 200 and well yeah 250 megabytes per second which compared to 450 which is most drives have nowadays i mean it's better than a hard drive but it's not going to um 
make much of a difference. So I'm writing stuff to here. Um, yeah, I'm writing 250, whereas a hard drive is roughly about 100. So it's just writing slowly. I'm going to do one more. That puts it at, I'm guessing it's about 32 gigs. Now, I'm going to open this sucker up and see what we actually have. I think it is about a 32 gig SSD. I would assume so. Problem is the with the firmware that's put on here now, it's going to be a pain. So time to get prepared. By now, the most important thing you should know is that you should always wear protection. Oh, look at this. We dropped down to 100. I would assume that that is the mark in which we um, maxed out the physical memory. And now it is overwriting. Okay, so this drive clearly does not have the space that it's supposed to. Windows says it's corrupt. Um, you get some errors when you try to overwrite so much data. I'm guessing 32 or 16 gig SSD. Speeds are semi-consistent. They're not what they should be. But let's give this a shot now. So I've got to figure out how to open an SSD. Oh, there's a screw on that side. That'd probably be helpful. That probably should have been done first. Let's get the rest off here. I like how they di didn't even bother to put in all the screws. Like, the screws in this SSD, they didn't need, they were like, that's too expensive. Too much money to put these screws in. All of them, you know? I'm trying to get every last penny of the profit that they can make from people. Okay. So we've got two ships. Let's redo our research now. And they look like they tried erasing or cleaning off these chips. But in the matter of fact, they didn't. They, it was like they, yeah, they tried removing them. So this is a TS one two five six six G one eight one. That looks like the yeah. So it's definitely some type of yep. That definitely looks like that chip. So 256 gig SSD that has two modules. No, that's 128. So this might be a 256 gig. I doubt that. That's a lot. It is matching numbers though. Let's see. What do I have for the bottom number? It's more likely 128. Yeah, so four modules, 128 gig SSD. So the problem, however, is boils down to the firmware. Like, the other thing I want to point out, too, is they've modified the, um... So, not only did they end up removing the the labels from these chips, I barely could read the outline, and only on one. Um, the other thing, too, is they scraped off the top of the um, controller board, or the controller processor, and they scraped it off. So, like, there's no way to identify like where it was bought from, who purchased it, basically saying, you know, anything you could track the scam down to either. So this is a very sophisticated scam. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised at how the lengths that they went to to, you know, conceal their tracks. Um, there is a, there is another, the serial number on the bottom. Um, I'll read it for y'all. It's 1905088. Uh, I don't know, I'd have to do more research, but I think it is definitely possible to track, maybe track down who purchased that. Honestly, though, I, I'm i surprised, especially the links with the fact that they've scraped off the, the top of the processor board, or the IC, um, to stop people from tracking it down. That's 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 definitely shows the, the sophistication of this the scam. Um... 
yeah. So overall, um, would I buy this? Uh, no, it's clearly a scam. Um, a, a couple props though, where props are deserved. Um, the funny thing is, at least this is a SSD form factor. We bought things before that just had two USB sticks put together. Um, that's not really helpful. This is supposed to, well, obviously with this though, it's supposed to at least read as a bootable drive. Um, I'm curious to know if Windows would let you even install anything on here. I believe this is a 128 gig. Uh, I, that's the, what I would guess based off the board, assuming each of these chips are the same. Um, but for the most part, I, I would be pleasantly surprised to find out. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'd be pleasantly surprised to find it anything more than that. Um, pretty confident. These were specifically made to be scam boards, especially the fact that they've scraped off the, that's very tedious to scrape off that off. So I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, of course, feel free to subscribe and tune in for the next couple of uh, scam videos and letting people do stupid stuff to my computer. Um, there is a lot more coming and it's just some really good stuff.